Hello drivers, today we are going to see how to tune our tire pressures. We are at Le Mans Bugatti with the Ferrari 250 GTO. So before going on the track, let's see what is at stake here. On the left, you can see an underinflated tire. Uh, you see that the edges are a little bit squeezed and you have a bigger contact patch. So you're gonna have more temperature because when you are driving, uh, there is friction between the, 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 the tire and the ground. And uh, the lower the pressure, uh, the higher, uh, the, the more friction you're gonna have, this friction generates heat. Uh, you will also have more wear because you have just more friction. Uh, you will increase a little bit the, the grip because you have a bigger contact patch and the car will be a little bit, bit more predictable. In the middle, you see a perfectly inflated tire. You see that it has a square shape. So every part uh, of the tire will work equally, the, the middle, the inside and the outside. So uh, you will, in theory, have the best balance. On the right side, you see an overinflated tire. You see that it is, it is a little bit rounded. Uh, so you're gonna have less temperature because the, the, the contact with the ground will be uh, lower. You will, you will have less friction. You will also have less wear because you have less friction. Uh, you will also have a little bit more top speed because you have less friction, the, the friction dissipates the energy and you will have a little bit more reactivity because uh, the tire will be a little bit stiffer. Obviously there is a really short window where this is true. I mean that if you are really too much overinflated, you will start to lose speed. Same thing if you are underinflated, you won't gain more, uh, more grip if you are running, let's say, a one bar tire. On Project Cast 2, you want to be able uh, to identify the perfect uh, pressure because uh, there is a lot of different tires and they, they will work at a very different uh, pressures. So how to see if you are overinflated or uh, underinflated? Well, you just need uh, to check out uh, the temperature. At the left, because you have uh, the, the edges that are squeezed, uh, they will work more and they will be harder. So you're gonna observe that you have inside and outside temperature uh, higher than the middle. You're gonna have, by example, uh, 60, uh, 49 in, uh, and 50 degrees. If your pressure is really perfect, you're gonna have the middle temp just in the middle between the inside and outside. By example, 60, 55 and 50 degrees. You won't have the same temperature everywhere uh, due to the, to the camber, uh, but the middle will be exactly uh, in the middle. I mean that if here, if you have 64 instead of, of uh, 65, it means that you are a little bit underinflated. If you have 56 instead of 55, it means that you are a little bit overinflated. So you really want to have this number just between uh, the inside and the outside. And finally, uh, if you are uh, overinflated because the, the tire is rounded, you're gonna have the middle of the tire working more and it will be harder. You're gonna have, by example, uh, 60, 62 and 50 degrees. Uh, most of the time you won't observe such a, a situation. Uh, most of the time you're gonna have uh, maybe the, the in, under inflated tire because uh, at the first lap, if your tire is cold, it will be a little bit underinflated, but, but most of the time you're gonna have the middle temp between the inside and outside, but you want it to be exactly in the middle. So we are in the, in the garage. Uh, you see there that we, are, we have just one kind of compound uh, that is a track. On most race cars, you're gonna have soft and hard compound. Soft uh, will generate uh, more heat, so you're gonna use it if uh, the, the track is cold. Here we are at uh, nine, um, 29 degrees, so it's quite hot. 
Uh, we see that we have a lower pressure at the rear, uh, probably because we want uh, to have more grip at the rear. Uh, the track turns right, so the left tires uh, will work more, so they will uh, generate more hit. So I, I am going to uh, increase the pressure, because the higher the pressure, uh, the, the less friction you're gonna have, so it will generate less heat and will compensate uh, for the, 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 the load difference between the left and the right. So we're gonna increase uh, the left a little bit. Uh, sometimes you want to increase the left, sometimes you want to decrease the right. It depends on what you, you want to, uh, to obtain. And we are going to, to go on the track and see uh, how it behaves. So, as I said, you want to check the, the temperature, so you're gonna look for the numbers uh, above the tires. So, by example, uh, for the front left, you see the, the left number is the outside temperature, that is uh, 26 right now. Uh, 26 middle and uh, at the right it is the, the inside uh, temperature it can it can be quite long uh, to warm up the tires and uh, you, you want to, uh, to train uh, to reach uh, to reach uh, the, the stabilized temperature quicker because when you are in qualification you, you want to to have the perfect uh, the perfect conditions uh, as soon as possible so here I'm going to do, I am going to do that you see you um, you get you shift up and you can uh, you can turn a little bit more in fact in fact the, the front tires aren't aligned with the turn and they will hit uh, faster then it depends on what you want to do. If you are struggling to hit up uh, the, the red tire, you will probably try to, to, uh, to throttle a little bit too much. And you, you really want to, uh, to watch it almost uh, tracks if the tracks uh, turn right like here uh, you're gonna struggle to hit uh, the, the right tires so as i said you can see the the real left we have 45 44 45 so it's underinflated because the middle is lower uh, than uh, the edges at the front left we are still underinflated because uh, the, the front, the, the middle is lower. By the way, the higher the camber, the easier it will be easy to, to identify the perfect pressure because uh, you're gonna have more, more spread, more uh, differences between the inside and outside. Here for the moment, the difference is, uh, is a little bit uh, too low. <laughs> quite hard to to drive speak and check out the numbers at the same time um, so let's hit the tires once again okay it uh, as I said it's quite long to to hit the tire and um, it's not because the the temperature is good uh, you, you can have the good temperature and the, the pressure will continue uh, to increase. By the way, I try to avoid, avoid to, to lock the tires because uh, the temperature won't be equally spreaded and uh, you will obviously wear out the, the tires too quick. So here the, the higher pressure is still at the front left. 
one bar point uh, uh, 83 uh, and it's still a little bit too low so right now uh, I think the, the temperature will uh, continue to increase but we, we already uh, we can already see if we are good or not um, here I think that the, the temperature of the track is too low to warm uh, the, the tires you see that the front right is only at uh, 50 degrees and uh, as you can see it's uh, it's not the good green so the, the tire is a little bit too cold uh, you want it's really uh, rare uh, to have both perfect temperature and per perfect pressures uh, because you really need to have uh, the, the perfect track uh, conditions and uh, the perfect perfect tire. So you're gonna uh, you're gonna have to choose between a tire that have the good temperature. Uh, here the good temperatures seems to be between uh, 70 and 80 degrees and uh, the perfect uh, the perfect pressure that seems to be uh, even higher you see 1.87 uh, and it's still uh, too low so if i increase now if i increase uh, the pressure i will reduce uh, the temperature so here by example i don't think that it would be a, gr a good idea to, by example, increase the pressure at the front right because uh, the tire is a little bit too cold. But you really want to uh, to do what you can to have the same uh, grip uh, level. Uh, you want to have, uh, how can I say, the best uh, ratio between good temperature and good, good pressure at the left and the right because if there is too much difference when you are braking or, uh, or accelerating in a straight line it's uh, and if you have more more grip at the left or at the, the right obviously the the car won't be st stable one point eighty nine And then still a little bit too low I think the good pressure is around uh, two bars here well you, you, you also see that you have a big difference between the the left and the right Here I think that we, we will reach a good pressure at the front left. So I really think that here uh, there is only the, the front left tire that uh, will be uh, working in the perfect condition. You see 80 degrees, you see 1.91 uh, uh, bars, it's, it's, it's quite quite good. At the rear, I think that it isn't a problem to have an underinflated tire because uh, you want to have a grip uh, for the corner exit. And as you can see, uh, the, um, uh, the, the rear of the car is sliding in the corner exit and, and you don't want it uh, to slide quickly. So you want to run lower pressures and it will help, help you to, to catch uh, the sides. Another good thing to do is to, to, do, to do a few laps and to... Uh, okay, you, you don't see the, the numbers and uh, your focus on the car behavior and uh, it will change as, uh, as uh, the pressures and temperatures will, uh, will change. 
uh, most of the time they will rise uh, and you want to uh, to identify the um, the best behavior when you you think that uh, the car behaves the better uh, you uh, you see the numbers you see which uh, tire which uh, pressure and temperature you got and then you do what you can to to have these numbers every time as I said before most of the time the the soft compounds uh, generates more heat they also warm up uh, a lot faster so most of the time you will use it uh, for the qualifications hard compounds uh, can be really long uh, to warm it can take around sometimes 10 laps to, to really, really uh, reach the stabilized uh, states here it starts uh, to be stable 1.94 I will just try the, the next corner Woo. see if we can get something even uh, warmer so once again you, you put a high gear the, the car will understeer and you will be able uh, to uh, to turn the steering wheel a lot more without um, oversteering uh, now what we have 95 here also you see we we won't have something higher 90 degrees seems already a little bit high Otherwise, the spread looks quite good. We have the middle between uh, inside and outside. We can see uh, the rear right, by example. The rear right is uh, the lower pressure here. And you see that the middle is uh, quite equal. Uh, to the outside as I said before it's really rare that you have the middle lower than outside due to the to the to the camber mostly so here it is how to do that once again you want to to run uh, quite a few laps and then even if you know what is the perfect pressure you won't uh, you won't try to have it every time here by example uh, the front left you see that the front left starts to work quicker than the front right so you will probably want to increase a little bit the pressure at the, the front left uh, to reduce the wear and increase may, uh, may, may, maybe lower the, the pressure at the front right to have uh, a higher temperature but here it is how we do that and once again it is probably the, the first thing you need to, to do when uh, you are on the track with a car it is to to, uh, to tune the tire pressures but uh, you won't do something how can I say you won't try to, to have the perfect uh, tire pressures immediately because it will ver change a lot uh, due to the, to the setup changes. So you will uh, do a few laps uh, to have one uh, a first, uh, a first uh, proposal and then at the end you will, uh, you will check again what you have when you are right running a few laps 
and do some refinements. In the next video we are going to talk about uh, the camera setting. Uh, if you like this video please consider subscribing to the channel. You will also be able to find more information on the website. I put a link below. And I just have to say you au revoir.